the John Fox era starts now. I do know that he thought if Williams was there, I mean, Fox is a defensive coach, that they might make that. He thought he was the defensive player to pick. But otherwise, even though that's his side of the ball, they lost Brandon Marshall. They do have some weapons with Jeffries and, of course, with Forte. If it's not Williams, I'm thinking it's offense, so that would lead what? Wide receiver? Sure, and you can see Kevin White going off the board here because obviously it would just give him another big wide, another big weapon on the outside. But defense better be addressed here in Chicago and it better be addressed fast. You have a defensive head coach, Vic Fangio integrating a new scheme. You better get some beef up front, namely at the nose tackle position. I like Danny Shelton here. Utah's nose tackle. I think Eric Flowers could come in here and be an opening day starter at right tackle, Mel. Certainly they can use more firepower at wide receiver, but John Fox is a defensive guy. They are going to a 3-4 defense. I'd be surprised if they don't go defense. Yeah, it would be, I think you look at Shelton, but the, the value here is with the best player on the board, Kevin White. And I said it for the Jets, and Leonard Williams, number one on the board, you got to take him, I get that. But you got to look at Kevin White. You got to help out your quarterback. Brandon Marshall's gone. Kevin White, the best value pick at this point. Well, at the moment, we heard rumors, yeah, Jake Cutler got to be the trade. He's the Bears quarterback. Get him more juice, maybe. With the seventh pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Kevin White. Wide receiver, West Virginia. And the Bears have just won the Super Bowl. Listen to this crowd. I guess that's who the fans wanted. And so Kevin White, who certainly can burn, he had one unbelievable year, as you guys will talk about. His body of work unknown beyond the one year, but he certainly was an eye-opener and then some for the Mountaineers. Well, he was, Boom. You look at him uh, two years ago, 2013, for West Virginia. He had 35 catches. Comes into this year, you wait to see Kevin White emerge. Remember, he was a former junior college transfer coming out of Lackawanna Junior College. 109 catch goes from 35 to 109 receptions, 10 touchdowns. He was on fire early. 10 catches against Oklahoma, 9 catches against Alabama, 13 against Maryland. Late in the year, quarterbacks injured, production declines. He goes to the combine at 6'2 and a half, 215 pounds. Runs a 4'3, 540, does 23 reps, 36 and a half vertical, real long arms, great attitude, great approach. Now, I don't think he plays as fast as he times. There's a lot of contest it throws not much separation with Kevin White for a guy that has that awesome physical and athletic ability but when he is in a jump ball situation he gets the best of the cornerback what I like about this pick is he's consistent he rips everybody from the start of the season until the end the only thing I have against White is he lines up on the right almost every single play 950 snaps he lines up as an outside receiver on the right he runs a limited route tree and if you line up on the right every single snap you're going to see richard sherman on every single play he has not been trained to do anything but line up on the right and run a limited route tree is my only concern but he is big he is fast and he consistently dominates the NCAA level. This is the perfect kind of Chicago Bear pick, not simply because of the fact that they can use some more weapons, but if you understand Kevin White's history, and you understand how much he has worked for everything he has gotten, not being highly recruited out of college, having to go to JUCO, have, coming out of JUCO, not being highly recruited by Division I programs, West Virginia, one of the only teams that really went after him, and here's a guy who this, this year just broke onto the scene now and still needs to develop, but he's a perfect kind of Bears wide receiver. Well, whoever was going to get drafted here in the first draft in Chicago since December 1963 was going to be a hero. And Susie, you're with the now hometown hero in Chicago. And Kevin said that he expected a lot of emotion. What is it about your journey that created all of this? Oh, man, I, I've been through so much. I have a great family. Uh, first of all, thanks for the man, to the man upstairs. Uh, but I've been through so much, and I've been wanting this all my life, so I'm finally here, and I'm ready to turn the city around. All right, well, this is the whole crowd right here. Oh, yeah. What do you want them to know about you? I'm a great guy. I'm humble, very confident. I'm ready to work. Along the way, you kept reinventing yourself. What are your expectations in the NFL? Um, 
I'm planning on being, doing big things. Uh, hopefully I'll be a star, but I'm ready to work. I'm, I'm ready, to, I'm tired of, tired of talking about it. Uh, I'm just happy, I'm honored to be here, I'm blessed. Uh, thanks to the man upstairs, thank you for everybody that helped me get in here, and I'm, I'm ready to go. Congratulations, Thank Kevin. You. Thank you. Let's go upstairs to Chris Mortensen.